Probably can't see it, but I've got two little lines marked here, so I'm gonna try to keep my, my entire illustration right here. I'm just gonna start off by, by trying to, to come in and lightly map out a, a general idea of where I'm gonna be. So same, same as like when I'm working on paper. I'm gonna come in and draw a circle and start doing some construction. Try to try to build my character up from there. Just take your time, be patient. It takes a lot of time and a whole lot of pencil sharpening because this grip tape just wears pencils out. It's also not very easy trying to keep my head out of the shot. I have a very bad tendency to lean very far over my work. Yeah, this, this sucks. <clears throat> Worst circle ever, but it gets the job and I already need to sharpen But Okay, so I'm gonna grind this out. I'm gonna jump up on this, uh, this rough sketch and we'll come back later break time lapse As you can see, I'm making some progress. Much less pencil than before, but you know, it's, it's a slow roll. Uh, it looks like crap, if we're being honest, but they pretty much always look like crap. You know, you, like I said, this is just the rough sketch. Like I'm just doing a rough sketch, trying to get everything laid out exactly how I want it. If I make any mis critical mistakes that I just don't really want to deal with later, uh, you can get these black magic erasers. Uh, they they work pretty good. I mean, it's, it's not gonna get everything off the grip tape, but it gets most of it off, and that's all that matters. So I'm gonna get back working on this. Try to completely finish out this rough sketch. Hopefully I can get it done tonight and maybe tomorrow or at some point this week, I'll actually finish this uh, piece of grip tape. Coming up close to the end now of the rough sketch. I took quite a while. Did not go necessarily as planned. Ended up just a, a little bit bigger than I meant for it to be. But I'd rather it be a little bit bigger than end up incredibly too small because then it would just look awkward. That's just my opinion. I think it would look a little weird if it ended up being way too small. So it will still work out and serve the same purpose as what I'm trying to do. But 
few more lines, try to lay this out. Hair strand here, take this up, and take the rest of the hood to the top. A little bit of loose hair. Uh, this is not an original character by any means. This is Ryu Leon from Dan Machi. Or if you prefer the longer name, uh, is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon? One of my personal favorites. I've watched it way too many times. But good nonetheless. And a few distinguishing marks here. And it's, all, it's also easier if you kind of drag the pencil. But if you sit like this and you're trying to pull it towards you, it's, it is more challenging. So I will say that I do recommend kind of finding a flow and just dragging the pencil. And this is just a rough sketch. Again, I'm just trying to reiterate here multiple times. This is only a rough sketch. You know, we're not going for perfect by any means. We're just trying to lay it out. But I found this piece when I was searching Google. It is a fan art. I do not see right offhand who originally did it. But I, I saw it and thought it was was pretty cool. So this is our our grip tape art for this video. You know, it's kind of pushing my comfort zone here a little bit. But that's how we grow. You know, we gotta try things. We gotta mess up. And I do that a lot. But I mean, aside from like a few random lines here and there, I mean, this this is pretty much done. So we got the rough sketch done and I'll be back eventually to, uh, we'll come in, we'll do some paint markers. So the next step, let me, let me grab something here. The drawer is too full. All right, so the next step is I have this paint marker. Uh, the key point to the paint marker. I don't see, I don't see. Basically, when you go buy a paint marker, you want it to be oil based. Because if you get anything else, it kind of runs and you'll have to make sure that it dries before you do anything else. So this one's like, yeah, this one's water-based. I got this to do a friend's board a while back and it just, there was pink everywhere. So, so when you get the paint markers, just, just read the box and make sure that it's oil-based and that helps a ton and it kind of keeps all the paint where you want it and it doesn't just flow out of the marker like a waterfall and then it's everywhere that you don't want it so yeah rough sketch done next step paint but we have paint markers i'm not the hugest fan of fine point markers but uh it's all they had and well actually these are ultra fine points so twice as bad but I don't know hopefully they work so I'm gonna grind out and try to get the line work done on this and these are just I mean they're just regular oil based paint markers 
I get them from Walmart. They're like three dollars. So we'll get to work on this and check back in later. So one thing you can note that I'm doing is I'm working from left to right. And I'm working from left to right because I'm right-handed. This way, is, as long as I keep working this way, I'm not smearing the paint. You can kind of see one little spot there where I, I smeared the paint, but I can fix that when I go and add the colors. So if I was left-handed, I would work from right to left, you know, just, this just makes sure that I can continuously work on it and not have to stop and let the paint dry. I'll be able to do all the line work and then I'll stop and let it dry. So I just wanted to point that out while I was thinking about it. All right, let's get back to the, uh, the time lapse. I'm gonna stop here. I'm gonna let this dry for a little bit. And I had to go and buy a ton of colors for this one. I didn't have most of the colors for this one, so I bought a ton of colors for this one. Gonna let this dry and we'll come back later. At this point, we're gonna start painting. I've got some just acrylic paints for, these are for skin tones. Let's see. I bought some new paints. I've got some greens, a couple blues, some whites and yellows. I mean, I just, I got a few different colors here, so. I'm not gonna use all of these right from the get-go. Uh, right now, I just wanna focus on getting the skin tone done. So, let's set all this to the side, and let's get started on doing some skin tones.
All right, here we go. Final product, we have Liu Leon from Dan Machi, or if you want the long name, Is It Wrong to Pick Up Girls in a Dungeon? One of my absolute favorite shows. Uh, still got a little bit of wet paint. I played around with some things, didn't like it, so I'm gonna stick with what I have. I like it, and honestly, I still have a lot more to learn about mixing paints to get the right colors, but for this piece, I'm going to say it's done now. Set up a new board, and, you know, I'll probably throw this on there. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with this. It turned out a lot better than I thought it would, so. But this is how I do my grip tape art, so maybe you can kind of copy what I did and and step your art game up.